at the beginning of this video, I showed you um, a little box dresser type thing that I had gotten. Um, I got it at a thrift shop, which I don't have that many around here, but I just happened to stop in there one day and they had it. So I picked it up and that's what it was, it, what you'd seen at the beginning of it. And I've been working, I finally pulled it out um, this last week and I've worked on it a little bit um, every day here and there between other things going on because you know I've been kind of busy and everything. So I think I worked on it a little bit every day and I'm going to show you what I came up with. Now keep in mind I love watching um, all of you ladies and gentlemen. Um, one of my um, one of them that I really love to watch I mean she does just absolutely stunning work is Miranda Miss Liberty 25 and she had done a uh, chest of drawers here just recently actually and it was just so gorgeous so when I you know seen this in the thrift store I'm like you know I want to get that after I got home and got to working on it I looked at it and I realized that, it, that um, somewhere along the lines it came from Michael's it's just a little one but I realized it came from Michael's and somebody else had decorated it and everything and it ended up in a thrift store but um, I love her work and she's a great inspiration to many of us and um, so I, I, I kinda tried to um, go along you know some of her type things she because like I said she's such an inspiration um, and this is nowhere near like anything that she does but um, this is it um, I don't know if it'll all show up in, in here the way it is but this is the um, the drawers I used um, I believe part of uh, one of the collections is a, a recollections collection I believe I can't remember to be honest but then the, I used the um, print uh, printers prim, 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 prima the um, almanac paper and then here's one of their buttons and then there's some wild orchard roses and this, this is one of those little flower charms that I had and then you know it's, it's a drawer you know it comes out this is some bling that I had gotten um, I ordered it online somewhere I don't remember now where I got it from and I just took one of my markers and colored it in because it's actually silver um, I don't I, I love her technique with the chicken wire which naturally I don't have none but I do have a chicken coop a chicken coop stamp so I did that and embossed it on there you know on the top and everything and I just put some little twine in the buttons there and then this is one of the sides I just crocheted um, some single stitch and then rolled it up and put it on some burlap and then these are buttons I made um, I used uh, actually it come in this little box of things and I used my um, Tim Holtz die the uh, dress form I had the buttons and I put those in there and it and sure enough you know it punched it out and I put some of the Prima almanac paper on that and then you know some more of the paper and some more of that and um, uh, P at Whim Whimsical Endeavors um, she showed us this technique with the paper towel well, I did that throughout the whole thing I don't know if you can really see it or not but you know it didn't turn out like hers but you know it's I, I liked it it was pretty neat and this is the back of it this is just um, a flower I got from the Dollar Tree you know I took it apart and put it together in some um, black tool behind it and a feather you know, and a, a wild orchid craft flower in there and some bling that I inked up with some butterscotch ink and everything you know, and I ripped the paper you know and there's more of that um, chicken coop behind there this is one of the recollection papers here and then 
this side over here is, um, I really like the way this one turned out. It, uh, this is from the Tim Holtz die, the tag die, that's one of those book plates. And I put some of the, um, some kind of tape, I don't remember now what it's called, on it, you know, and then I put some electrical tape, or the metal tape on it, you know, and inked it up and everything, and there's a stamp from Prima and then more of the paper. And these, I just, um, I don't know if you can really see, but those are, those are just little, um, jewelry findings I put together and then put them in there and then a little thing on there. There's a leaf from Wild Worker Crafts. And then this here was made with one of the Tim Holtz dies too. And I did it the same way I did this. I took two of the pieces and I put them together and I put my wire on there. And then um, I don't have a lot of his trinkets but I love Tim Holtz. But this is uh, fishing hooks or from fishing line. You know, the fishing lure things. And then some keys, you know, and they just hang down and everything. This says um, enchanting down here. But I really like the way this turned out here. And the top part was what I finished up tonight. I hope you can see it. Um, there's some of the, this is actually the first time I've used a lot of his Tim Holtz things because I keep kept them um, along with the paper, you know, didn't want to cut into it. So there's one of his little clocks and everything and um, I just ordered this from somewhere. Got that in. And here's his film strip. These are all Wild Worker Craft flowers. And then there's some of the road, uh, rosebuds. And there's a little heart in there. And I just, you know, another feather. And actually this part here um, wasn't part of the box. I cut it with one of his dies and made it out of chipboard and then placed it on there and you know I cut it to where it would kind of all you know fit look go together and everything. Um, this is so this is how it turned out. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'll have pictures you know at the end up close pictures. Um, I hope you didn't like it, and like I said, um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of people out there that are such an inspiration, and uh, Miranda is one of them, along with P also. And I just wanted to share this, and um, if you would, just leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And thank you for watching, and you have a blessed evening.